Hey guys, welcome back. So we have some more information on the North Carolina leaks. Uh, for those who are maybe mixed up a little bit with all these leaks from here, there, everywhere. Um, this is the packs that were put up on eBay, the sealed packs. Um, that definitely, almost certainly came from Morrisville, North Carolina. Uh, the seller being from Randleman, North Carolina, or at least their eBay account showing that. Um, so we didn't last time, but I should have gone through uh, the single cards that they were selling as well. So if anyone wants to reference back to these, uh, pretty good prices for some very, uh, what will be very inexpensive cards, but people are just paying a premium um, because they can't obtain them yet. So get to get going down the line here and we end up with some actual Pokemon cards that were released, some football, um, some Hot Wheels, a little bit of sports in there, some basketball. Um, now the individual listings we can go through, take a look. Um, important to note that these were apparently all canceled. Uh, as far as I know, that's the, uh, the story that I was told. Um, but, uh, Take everything with a grain of salt where um, at some point somebody stole these cards or got them uh, by illegal means so you know uh, we're gonna anything that sounds like it probably isn't the real story probably isn't the real story but I'll still provide that information we got the Reshiram here we got the Xerneas we got the Veltal Again, all these leaks are, are matching up with the other facility. So it seems like uh, they were printing celebrations at both Millennium Print Group locations. Which is pretty uh, important to note. Um, the latest information, I'm mostly coming here from Pokemon Legends TV on Instagram and Pokemon Legends on YouTube. Um, so here we go. He had a, uh, an opening that we're going to take a look at. Um, and he's posted some uh, some cards that we haven't seen yet. So maybe we'll open that up and then uh, I'll go through the, the information at hand. Let's see here. Here we go, movie time. Uh, so this is a YouTube video that Pokemon Legends posted. Um, maybe we'll just mute this. And I'll go through the details as it plays in the background. And I'll try and stop it at the uh, important parts. So basically, <clears throat> we're dealing with this same eBay seller. This is the, uh, the source for these four booster packs uh, that we see on screen uh, in this opening. Uh, those came from that 285 BSD person uh, who, whose name has not been disclosed. Uh, apparently... Pokemon Legends was not given their name. Um, it was a, sort of a secret, secret meetup, secret transaction that wasn't really a transaction, but it was kind of a transaction. Um, so both of them being from North Carolina. Uh, so all right, the uh, the eBay listings. Let's start with those. Those were opened. Uh, I guess he canceled the listings, refunded the buyers, opened them himself. The uh, the 285 BSD individual um, opened all of them except for four that were given to Pokemon Legends. Um, it, it sounds like there was some sort of trade for football cards involved. So uh, Pokemon Legends must have offered or given him some, some football cards in exchange. Uh, and also, according to Pokemon Legends, because he helps people get new product, so I guess the good deeds were a good reason to um, provide Pokemon Legends with these packs. Um, also, 285 BSD apparently got nervous uh, because, as Pokemon Legends stated, someone was posing as an investigator. Uh, I thought this too at first with uh, the Instagram account that contacted me. Um, it looked like someone just made a burner account uh, posing as a private investigator. But the more I looked into it, the more it seems like it actually is. Um, I still don't know exactly if Millennium Print Group hired this individual or this individual is looking for information uh, to then pass along to Millennium Print Group, perhaps in exchange for 
uh, monetary compensation. So uh, not sure. I would imagine that this same person uh, was the one that met uh, with Brandon outside of his place of work. Um, if not, maybe somebody from that same organi organization um, made a call, though it would be kind of weird to have two different people on um, the same case. Although where there's two different print groups that are leaking cards, um, maybe maybe that calls for it. Uh, hard to uh, be in both places at the same time where they're pretty spread out. Uh, so far, no one has contacted Pokemon Legends. Uh, I'm sure they might eventually, uh, seeking information as to uh, the whereabouts or uh, information from the person they received it from. So, uh, as far as I know, from what Pokemon Legends has told me, he opened these cards and he shipped them all to other YouTubers and fans. So he no longer has any cards, uh, his words, uh, apparently all over the place, uh, Nevada, Miami, Australia, Hong Kong. I don't know uh, if there's other locations other than that, but that's just what he uh, kind of tossed at me. Um, also, there is a big YouTuber, or big po Poketuber, who is going to receive one of these cards. Um, I can't say who or which card, just because... Uh, as per our agreement where Pokemon Legends was giving me information for my story, um, that was something that I, I'm not able to disclose as part of our agreement. So let's talk about the meetup itself, which is certainly interesting. Um, so 285 BSD and Pokemon Legends met up in person, so both from that same area. Um, or at least must have been somewhat close to each other to meet up at a disc golf course. Um, I guess that was the the safe public location for them to uh, to make the exchange, um, where there was a bunch of kids and families present. Um, no names were exchanged apparently, so I don't know if uh, 285 knows. Pokemon Legends name or not, um, but uh, according to Pokemon Legends, he did not learn the name of 285 BSD. Um, so let's see here. The I guess the flea market details would be good to go into. Um, these are word of mouth from what Pokemon Legends was told by 285 BSD. Uh, apparently, the person at the flea market. Uh, for the record, I don't believe the flea market story at all. Um, whether that happened or not, maybe. Maybe the person at the flea market got the cards and then passed them along. Maybe 285 BSD, who seems really scared for somebody that wouldn't necessarily be guilty. Um, maybe he either took the cards from work, or took the packs from work, or maybe he got them from somebody that took them from work so he, he could have a closer tie than we think uh, especially with how skittish he's been um, so this is the supposed details from the flea market um, which I find is an unlikely unlikely story but we're, we'll uh, we'll include the details regardless $30 a pack is what the person at the flea market was charging and apparently 285 purchased 100 Darkness Ablaze booster packs, a bunch of old sports cards, and the Celebrations packs. So nothing notable other than those uh, Celebrations packs. Uh, and when 200, 285 BSD asked about Celebrations, the seller smiled and changed the subject, apparently. Um, now, there's this weird um, agreement where... Pokemon Legends is going to later meet up with 285 BSD uh, once the set is released, a celebration set is released, where they plan to exchange names and split a box on Pokemon Legends. It's going to purchase a box and they're going to split it, I guess, as sort of a, uh, I don't know if that's like a celebration for celebrations. Interesting nonetheless, None, nonetheless, I guess. So let's, uh, let's go through the video here. Uh, there's... For the most part, it's uh, 
pretty standard stuff. Uh, everything that we've seen already, the Kyogre, the Reshiram, the Groudon, the Flying Pikachu V. Once we get up here a little bit further, we got the Eveltal, we've seen him, we've seen the Dialga. So this is interesting here, the Professor's Research Full Art, which hadn't been revealed until this point. Um, so that's a first look at that. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll go through here. The professor's research full that. So I was a little bit skeptical when I first saw a picture of this. Um, it looked, it was blurry as the pictures always are, but it was probably just pulled from this video. Uh, someone took a, a really crappy screenshot and or blew it up. Um, but yeah, it uh, it is a real thing. And we hadn't seen number 24 to 25, so it kind of makes sense. It's weird to see um, the secret rare be 25 out of 25, but it's a weird 25 card set. So it uh, sort of is whatever it is. Uh, next up, I think at uh, we're just going to see some more cards here that we've seen already. But once we get up to uh, right here, we have the Clay Doll into a Mew that wasn't revealed yet, which is another interesting one. Number 11 out of 25. So, where these were missing from the other the other leaks. Uh, this is a, a first look at those two cards. I guess the only other real thing of importance um, is up here at a minute and 22. We have the uh, UKCA on the pack here, uh, which wasn't a thing uh, when these packs were received, um, but are a thing on Evolving Skies. So just like a, a new new thing that they did, just an empty evol Evolving Skies. Um, previous sets of Chilling Rain and stuff like that just had the CE on the back. So kind of neat there that um, that was sort of spoiled. It's not a very exciting spoiler, but uh, that came out beforehand. As always, guys, if you have any additional information about this or any other leaks, um, please let me know. If you notice anything that I haven't, uh, either in this video, I think it's still up at the moment, um, or any of the other videos, any of the listings, please feel free to leave a comment. Contact me on any of the platforms. Instagram is probably the best spot to, uh, to send me a DM. And uh, I'll leave those in the description if you'd like. Discord as well. It's a pretty good spot to reach me. Um, yeah. Stay tuned. I think we've pretty much leaked everything that we could possibly leak at this point for celebrations. I don't know. I'd have to take a look and go through an order. Uh, that might be pretty well it other than different products that haven't been shown yet. I know we're seeing a lot of that going on. Stay tuned.